Hi there. Welcome to Module 1 of the Unitrends Fundamentals course. This module is an introduction to the Unitrends solution. By the end of this module, you will be able to describe how Unitrends products can help you with your data protection and business continuity strategies. And for each of our products, you're going to be able to explain the primary function and key features. Let's get started. Before we dive into the Unitrends solution offerings, we really wanted to cement what a business continuity strategy really boils down to. And the question you should be asking yourself is, are you prepared to handle any IT disaster that comes your way? IT disasters come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from deleted files all the way up to an entire data center loss. Each of these failures has different impacts to the business, as well as personal impact. Some of them can take up a lot of time, or lost revenue, or even cause effort and stress on the team that has to be diverted from other projects. It's not a matter of if these disasters will occur, but when they will occur. And what you need to ask yourself is, are you prepared to handle any of these disasters? You need to ask yourself, what do you need to put in place to protect your business and your reputation? That's the whole point of setting up a business continuity strategy. Let's look into the details of what should make up a business continuity strategy. And the key elements include protection of all your assets, quick and reliable data recovery. You need to be able to actually recover your data, not just establish backups. You need persistent access to your data. You need to make sure not only is it recoverable, but you can actually recover it. On top of that, you need a solution or a strategy that's going to be able to be easy to use and can even be partially automated. If a backup strategy requires a lot of manual intervention or is very difficult to train new people on, your strategy becomes really dependent on individuals rather than a solution for the business. You also might have some legal and audit compliance you need to meet. And in those instances, having a strategy that's able to accomplish those compliance needs is going to be beneficial to your business and so that you're not going to face any penalties as well as to meet all the needs that might come up of your business. On top of all that, disaster recovery is a big issue nowadays. Disaster recovery is the ability to be able to recover in case of a disaster, whether that's a man-made disaster or a natural disaster such as fire, hurricane, it's usually about being able to recover from a system-wide crash. So you need to ask yourself with your business continuity strategy, what are your business's objectives for recovery? Recovery comes down to two main objectives. The recovery point objective is how much data you can afford to lose. It basically means if you need to recover from a failure, how old can that data be? As in, how much data are you willing to lose because you're recovering from a certain backup? That could be your data loss tolerance, and that can be anywhere from one hour, four hours, eight hours, 24 hours, a week, a month. You kind of determine based on each system or even your entire environment what makes the most sense. That's set up as your recovery point objective, the point with which you want to be able to recover in case of a disaster. The other side to recovery is how long it takes to recover, also known as the recovery time objective. And that really comes down to your downtime tolerance. If your company can't afford to be down for more than an hour, or four hours, or you can, your company can be down for 24 hours, that would be set as your RTO. And you're going to develop your business continuity strategy based around those two objectives. You're going to be able to accomplish smaller and smaller RPOs and RTOs through a more complex or more expensive solution. So bear that in mind that everything is a trade-off with a cost-benefit analysis to what's best for your business and your environment. Now that we've talked about what it comes down to with a business continuity strategy, I want to talk about how you can achieve those goals utilizing Unitrends. Our products start with the data protection platform. This is the base part of our platform that's going to be able to back up your environment. First, we have our Unitrends backup software. It's an all-in-one software solution that's going to be able to protect your environment. I'll be calling it UB occasionally, and sometimes the different deployments, I'll call it UB on Linux or UB on VMware, and so forth. The other option you have with Data Protection Platform is our Recovery Series Appliance. This software is very similar to the UB, but you're going to have an all-in-one physical appliance. So the storage, the processor, as well as the software is all included. So it's a matter of having backup software 
or a purpose-built backup appliance. From there, you might need more than just data protection, and that's where our disaster recovery and business continuity solutions come into play. The first is the Unitrends Cloud. The Unitrends Cloud comes in two flavors, the Forever Cloud and the No Limits Cloud, with the ability to add on a DR as a service with one hour white glove failover. In addition to that, or separately, Unitrends has a feature called Reliable DR that can offer automated testing, orchestration, and reporting on your failover and failback of certain servers. Now that we've talked about the solution, let's look at where Unitrends fits in your environment. It begins by deploying the Unitrends backup software or deploying a Unitrends recovery series appliance. From there, Unitrends is going to be protecting and backing up your environment. Unitrends can back up natively over 200 different operating systems, so that can be physical servers or file level backups of your virtual machines, snapshot level protection of VMware, Hyper-V, and Citrix Zen server. Unitrends can also do file level backups of SIFS, NFS, or NDMP backups on a NAS or Unitrends can even back up at the application level natively SQL, Exchange, Oracle, and SharePoint. From there, once the backups have landed either on your backup storage target or your recovery series appliance, you can then copy those backups to a cold target. The cold targets would include our RxDA, a disk archiving device, so you can copy your backups onto hard drives. You can also copy those backups onto a NAS, onto a LUN on a SAN, an LVD, SAS, or fiber channel tape drive, or even some public cloud options. If you want to be able to back up copy to a hot target, Unitrends offers two main flavors. This is to be able to enable quicker recovery and even failover capabilities. The first option is the Unitrends Cloud, where you're replicating up to the Unitrends Managed Cloud, where we can spin up your servers, or at the very least, maintain your copies of your backups in our site. Or you can utilize your own site and utilize one Unitrends appliance replicating to another appliance, and so you can have your backups at both sites. So if you were to lose one, you'd still be able to have all your data intact and could recover or restore as needed. Let's dive in to the Unitrends backup software. The software provides a flexible all-in-one solution on your hardware. What that means is you're going to have a deployment option that fits your environment, whether that's on a physical Linux server or deployed within your Hyper-V, VMware, or even your Citrix Zen server environment. Something to note with Zen server is that you're only going to be able to back up Zen server with Zen server deployment. From there, the solution offers a radically simple, easy to use user interface. So that way you and anyone else on your staff are gonna be able to learn and understand how to use it really quickly. You then also have the ability to have a cloud empowered backup and recovery solution. Utilizing our hybrid cloud technology, you're gonna be able to have your data local and off site without having to put forth all the effort of taking disks and tape off site if you don't need to. Unitrends is gonna be able to protect your entire heterogeneous infrastructure with one solution whether that's ranging from Linux to SQL to VMware to Hyper-V, Unitrends is gonna be able to back it all up natively and be able to protect your entire environment. Unitrends also offers flexible backup strategies and near continuous data protection in addition to deep virtual protection and an inline adapted deduplication. Unitrends doesn't require your environment to shape to your backup solution, your backup solution already has all the features and functionalities to customize to your environment. With Unitrends Backup, you're gonna choose the addition that will provide the protection you need for your environment. Unitrends Backup comes in five main additions, ranging from free to enterprise plus, and each of these are licensed via resource. A resource according to Unitrends is either a physical server or a CPU socket and a virtual host. So you just add up just what you're using Unitrends to back up, and then you will acquire the quantity of the license and the addition you need. The free edition is up to one terabyte, no limit on resources. If you have hundreds of servers that all can total to less than a terabyte, then feel free to use the Unitrends free solution. Essentials is up to 10 resources, and then from standard and beyond, there's no limit on the number of resources you can get with that addition. Once you have the resources set, you then need to dictate what functionality you want to be able to utilize within each addition. The free enables VMware and Hyper-V backups, both at a deep virtual protection level and at a snapshot level natively. The Unitrends Essentials Edition adds in the ability to back up physical servers with our agent-based file-level backup approach. The Standard Edition adds in the backup copy options as well as the ability to do Citrix Zen server backups. 
And then Enterprise adds in key application backup capabilities, being able to backup natively SQL, Exchange, Oracle, and SharePoint. Lastly, Enterprise Plus adds in reliable DR for your backed up environment and NDMP backups for certain EMC and NetApp arrays. To figure out which deployment is best for your environment, you can actually select which option fits your requirements. It breaks down to what you provide and what Unitrends provides. So for example, Unitrends backup on Linux, all Unitrends is going to provide is the software. You acquire the licensing and provide the OS, the CPU, RAM, storage, the rack space, and the physical server itself. For the UB on a hypervisor, whether that's on VMware, Hyper-V, or Linux, Unitrends provides a deployable template such as an OVA or an OVF for VMware, and all you need to provide is the virtual host and the backup storage to be able to handle it. If you want Unitrends to provide the storage, processing, and the software, the Unitrends recovery series would be the right fit. All you need to provide is some room for us to put that device into your environment. Let's dive into the Unitrends recovery series appliance. It's an all-in-one cloud-empowered, purpose-built physical backup appliance. What that means is Unitrends has an array of models, 14 to be exact, that range from 1 to 182 terabytes of raw storage and an array of processing power and memory to be able to handle certain suggested backup sizes. To figure out what backup size is suggested based on each appliance, check out our website in the appliance datasheet for more information. Each of our appliances that contain an S are able to do some read caching utilizing the SSDs. The appliance is a performance-tuned, fully integrated solution. The box comes, arrives at your step, you rack it, go in there, configure it, and you're going to be able to start running all of your backups, all stored with it locally within that recovery series appliance. A lot of features from the Unitrends backup software are going to be available with the recovery series appliance such as the cloud and power backup and recovery, the simple, easy to use user interface, being able to protect your entire environment through heterogeneous support, as well as the backup strategies, deep virtual protection, and inline adapted deduplication, all come standard with the Unitrends Recovery Series Appliance. You don't need to worry about resource additions. The Unitrends Recovery Series Appliances are licensed to be able to back up whatever you can fit within their stores. So they're only capped based on what you're gonna be able to back up within that appliance. With these 14 models, we break it down to roughly five different series, ranging from the 201, which is a small desktop or remote office model, all the way up to our 946, which has over 180 terabytes of raw storage. From there, each of the appliances has a specific naming scheme that may look a little complicated, but is actually really easy to be able to read. The first number dictates the model. So for example, in the 713S, the 7 series is our six to eight terabytes of raw storage models. The second number is the rack height. So a 713 is one U tall. An 833, for example, would be three U tall. The last number dictates the drive size used for backup storage. So for example, in the 713S, you can fit about four hard drives into a one U appliance, and those are RAID 10, which leaves you with six terabytes of raw storage. Some of the models end with an S. This means that they contain an SSD, and that SSD is used for quicker read caching. No data is actually going to be stored in that SSD. It's purely used for performance. Below the 713, data sizes don't really need an SSD for that performance. The data sizes are small enough that you're able to perform all that you need on spinning disk. See the appliance data sheet for more information on things such as suggested backup size or RAID configuration. Now that we've talked about our two data protection platforms, we want to talk about how you can increase your level of data protection with the Unitrends Cloud. Not all business continuity strategies need to utilize the cloud, but if you do, Unitrends is a great offering to help you accomplish that. The Unitrends cloud provides a hybrid cloud site to store your backups offsite. It has a secure SSA 16 certified location that's fully staffed 24 by seven with a white glove service. Our cloud even offers data seeding services so that you don't have to replicate all of your data across the internet. And when you need to recover your data, we offer overnight data shipment to meet SLAs. Secure WAN optimized data transfer is available and even optional AES-256 encryption for your data at rest is a possibility with the Unitrends Cloud. When utilizing the Unitrends Cloud, it comes in two main offerings. You have to pick one. The two offerings have similar functionality but different retention. 
The Unitrends Forever Cloud offers long-term retention in the Unitrends Cloud, despite whatever retention you have on site. The Unitrends No Limits Cloud keeps the exact same retention you have on site in our cloud. It basically is the difference between long-term retention or DR for your backups, whatever makes sense for your strategy and what you need to accomplish. In addition, once you pick one of the available cloud offerings, you can add on the DR as a service failover capabilities. And this offers your one hour SLA for recovery for VMware, Hyper-V, or even your physical Windows servers. We're gonna go into more detail about that in module four. Unitrans Reliable DR provides recovery assurance and disaster recovery orchestration for your environment. You can use this with our Unitrans Backup or Recovery Series solution, and it installs in your VMware Hyper-V environment. The Recovery Assurance provides an automated application-specific testing with easy RTO and RPO validation that's gonna do up-to-date reporting on your recoverability. The DR orchestration part of Reliable DR provides an automated orchestration and testing for your VMware, Hyper-V, and physical Windows servers to be recovered within VMware Hyper-V. It then offers certified recovery points that have been tested down to the application level, and then offers push button failover and fail back, either on-premise, in a private cloud, or utilizing Unitrend's hybrid cloud solution. Again, whatever makes sense to your business continuity strategy. We're gonna go into more detail about this in module four as well. Now that you've accomplished the introduction module, you should now be able to describe how Unitrends products can help you with your data protection and business continuity strategy. And with each of these products, you're gonna be able to explain the primary function and key features. Thank you so much for listening. The next module, module two, is all about how Unitrends is going to back up your environment.